Oh, Jerry, don't let's ask for the moon when we yeah. have the stars. Was yeah. that how the line went that I did at the beginning? Yeah. Oh, we have, isn't it? We have the stars, let's not ask for the moon. I don't know exactly how it goes, but it was yeah. a beautiful ending. Because, of mm -hmm. course, the man in that was never going to be right for her. He was too weak. I always felt in Voyager that eventually she married Dr. Jack with my gorgeous Claude Rains. I always felt that. After the movie was all yeah. over, that she went and worked with him, you know, in his work. And Is that, did you often think of the movies that way, of what happened beyond them? Because not of often, the not often, but, yeah. but that was to me a, a great, great story. And by the way, speaking of that, that gorgeous woman, Miss Cooper, who played my mother, died last night. Gladys Cooper died? Oh, I'm sorry to hear And that. you know, um, without yeah, doubt, know. the most beautiful mm -hmm. person as well as actress, and a professional with all her fame and theaters named after her in England, and the great reigning beauty of England for a million years, never was she late one minute, mm -hmm. never didn't she know every line. You know, we'd have been happy to have her if she'd worked half the day. Yeah. Most beautiful, I am really sad. She and then you her. think, as these people go, these beautiful people go, you know, it's, it's going to be a new world. We're not going to have those, that, that same kind of person anymore. Something to that. I, I was thinking about like that today. Like when Claude Rains died. Yeah. You, did, you couldn't bear it. You can't find mm -hmm. anybody that had... They're, they're all individuals. I had Gladys Cooper on the show when I was in London with uh, Robert Did Morley, you? and it was a wonderful uh, evening. Didn't yeah. you just think he she was wonderful? He told me afterwards that her beauty was, how old was she? Uh, she was 82. Yeah. And uh, her beauty was so, really something. He said that in, in, at her, in her prime, yes, said if she no. changed an article of clothing or anything that she wore, it would she immediately the, become the rage of Literally all the rage Europe. of London for many, yeah. many years, yes. Yeah. There's something about that, that thing you were saying, though, about we're not going to have certain kinds of people. I don't know. Well, it may be, you know, I'm not going to sit around and moan for the past. Yeah. Because, it, it, you know, it's past. It's very past in my life, too. And, you know, it, and of course, you also say, who's going next? You know, this is a terrible mm -hmm. thing that happens. And you say, maybe it's I, you know. Yeah. But it, it, it is, for our profession, it is to me so terribly depressing. It hit you like when Walter Houston died. You can't cast, you can't get that kind of a man anywhere in the world today again. There won't be any more Walter Houston roles. Well, I'll tell theater. you, the English, as they've always had the majority of great male actors, always. Mm -hmm. We've had more women, they've had more beautiful male actors. Do you have any idea why? I cannot understand it, yeah. but it's always been true since way back to Ronald Coleman, Herbert Marshall, uh, C. Aubrey Smith. Hollywood has always been really predominated mm -hmm. in the star category by Englishmen. Leslie. You know, all these beautiful Englishmen. Bob Herbert Hope. Marshall. Bob Hope. Oh, Bob Hope was born in England. I, that, that's not, well, uh, well, not the same thing. Well, it's just not the same thing. Yeah. No. But there, <laughs> we, we both noticed that as soon as I said it. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. uh, for instance, said, Richard Harris, I don't know who of you saw the snow goose the other night, but oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy, because you see, the, in a way, the Englishmen are... are, are more willing to play characters. Did you mean, oh boy, good, or oh boy, bad? Oh boy, good. Oh, yeah, oh did. absolutely fantastic yeah. performance. And he is going to come along to eventually be, you know, play older parts. He can play them right now. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there are several Englishmen. Dick Bogart, I think, one of the greatest actors that I, you know, that, that, that I know. You think so? There was something about, there was fabulous. something about. He's just fabulous. I'm dying to make a movie with him, play his grandmother or something. With Dirk Bogart. <laughs> Except I hear he's getting along in years. It might, might be just his mother. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was something about you and Claude Rains together on the screen. And again, it was one of those things that it's silly to try to describe what it was. And I, but well, I of course, he petrified me. The first time yeah. I played with him was, it was in Carlotta. And I had to make an entrance into the King of France domain mm -hmm. for a rehearsal. And he was playing the King of France in rehearsal because, you know, all of us... Uh, other era people, we, we don't just run through lines and then say, turn the camera. We rehearse beforehand. Very old-fashioned. Ridiculous today. Just go in and do it, you know. But anyway, Claude and I couldn't. So he was the king of France who loathed Carlotta. And I was a kid and petrified of Mr. Raines. So I thought he hated me. I didn't know he was playing the character. I thought he oh. thinks I'd just 
Dick, what am I going to do? <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, but eventually we worked together quite a lot. Eventually we became really great friends. We was were he, really great friends. Was he a happy man? I like to think so because he, he gave me so much pleasure. Well, I think as happy as any. I, I don't think as, as a group actors are what I'd call happy people. Mm -hmm. I think we're very moody people. I think we have you know, great ups and great downs. And if something goes well or if something turns out badly, you're depressed for days. And I think we're terribly peculiar that way and rather lonely people, actually. Yeah. So Claude, I could not say, was a happy person. He was witty, amusing, and beautiful. Really mm -hmm. beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, thoroughly enchanting to be with. And brilliant. His know. entrance in Deception, that movie I saw just oh, the other night, where that? he comes in and says a party indeed. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, he was so uh, wonderful in that. one of the that. best entrances. It was worth the whole thing, because the picture wasn't yeah. terribly good, but he was so much. And the restaurant scene where he was talking about all the food. Order, oh. yeah, yeah. Brilliant. And of course, in Skeffington, he was absolutely brilliant, yeah. as, as the husband, just brilliant. There is that thing, it has to do with what you're talking about, about there are people, you say, of your era, or some phrase you used like that, you could see them in movie after movie that wasn't particularly great, but you thought, gee, I'd like to know that person, or they're really a dynamite personality, or they're yeah. really something. Now, if you see a bad movie, the actors are on the same level as the movie. They don't seem to stand out in it. You don't seem to say, I, I, I hate to generalize like this, well, but no, it seems like there were more cases but it, it, There's much less sort of effort put into it. You, you know, I think acting should look as if we were working a little. You know. To get a little credit for your craft. Yes, and, you know, it's yeah. like the juggler who loses the, twice and then he gets it, you know, finally. Yeah. Uh, which goes, which is a very old-fashioned theory today. You see, we mustn't have any idea that anybody knows the cameras on them at all. Mm -hmm. You see, it's just life. Well, we all have life. Uh, it's 24, uh, 12 hours a day, and sometimes we want to forget life. You know, and I think it should be a little larger little than bigger. life. A little bit theatrical. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going I'm to do this just life size now. We will return after this message from our local station. That was a little small. Here we are. I was told to pull my socks up during that very. I know, and so I pulled my skirt down, so we each did something. <laughs> <laughs> Are we yeah, all right the, now, sir? Do you like us over there now? Oh, that's good. Oh, we're passable now. You know, they always used to ask this formula questions in the old photo play magazines, yes. like, uh, what was your first screen kiss like, and all of that stuff. <coughs> yes. let, let's do a variation of that. Did you ever kiss anyone on the screen who was so repulsive that you just couldn't <laughs> stand here? Did you? Uh, I wish I could use the name. If so, what was his name was going to be the second part of this. I absolutely can't till he dies. <laughs> Maybe if you do, but you I will. But I want to uh, tell you, I want to tell you, it was really something. <laughs> I never expected you to answer this. Yeah, it was it really was, something. How would you describe it if you had to, um, what are some adjectives? It's just something you didn't want to do. Mm -hmm. Did you it's know? It's just a very ugly kind of mouth. <laughs> 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 now, interestingly enough, <laughs> kissing on the screen, I mm -hmm. don't want to ruin anybody's illusions, is probably the most awkward, difficult thing in the world. Number one, the man's have to get all covered in gook. Yeah. Uh, the angle of the head's important. It, it can be very unattractive, kissing on the screen, uh, unless the man really has to run it. Like in life, he really should run it. I think nowadays the women are running the kissing more, but I don't know, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think they are. <laughs> but, uh, but well, there are more and more bachelors in the world today after 30. Nobody wants to marry, you know, it's terrible. But anyway, uh, it, it, is, it is not an easy thing to have charm. A love scene is a very difficult thing on the screen. How did you make yourself go through with this Well, I was kiss. just getting my salary every week, and there I was. <laughs> Even and that was in the script, and I just had to. You, you, you'd kiss him for money. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I kissed I kissed him for money. It's the only time that was true, but, but mm. the other kissing experience, I arrived at Universal on three months' options, some from the theater. 
And they didn't know what on earth to do with something that looked like me. God, just didn't know. So they asked me if I'd help test cement for a part. Sounds sinister, doesn't it? They lay me. Now, at that age, and I want to tell you, in 1930, I was the Yankeeest, modest, virgin that ever walked the earth. So they lay me on a couch, and I tested 15 men. <laughs> you want to reword those I'm two not things? kidding you. Yeah. They all had to lie on top of me and give me a passionate kiss. Oh! I thought I'd die. <laughs> I just thought I'd die. That wasn't what you expected it would be in Hollywood. I mean, at least not... No, well, I didn't really know about te hmm. being a test girl, no. Hmm. I didn't do it again. Were they doing that just to see No, no, they, they, they have to have a, you know, if they're testing for men, mm -hmm. for a part, they use some girl, any girl they have, and I was under contract, any girl they have, to just help out with the test. And they obviously had to have a woman there for the man to kiss to see if he could yeah. do it right. Fifteen of them. Are you sure there was film in the camera? Or? Yes, oh yes, there was yeah. film in the camera. There certainly was. Yeah. Do you ever see any of those men? Uh, have you ever remember? <laughs> Interestingly enough, one, one of them was Gilbert Rowland. Oh. And I must say, after he kissed me, I thought, this is not so bad. <laughs> and years later, got to know him very well, worked with him several times, and, and he's a smashing, perfectly marvelous guy anyway. But he, and he got the part, so I was right, in my opinion, as well as the camera. That was horrible. You'd be surprised how often that happened in the old days with contract people. And worse, I expect. Well, that happened privately, I imagine. Yeah. Is that what you meant? Uh, exactly. Yes. <laughs> we, we have to take a station break. We'll be right back and get further into this. The Dick Cavett Show with special guest Patty Davis will continue following station identification. <laughs> <laughs> 